Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to see, how to create a template in After Effects, and use it to create unlimited logo intro. This video is sponsored by Skillshare.com. Skillshare is an online learning community, with thousands of classes in design, video editing, motion graphics, and more. You can join any class, try any project, and take them anywhere, anytime. Learn, collaborate, and even teach a class of your own. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high-quality classes from experts, working in their fields, so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. Visit the link in the description, and get your two months of Skillshare Premium Access for free. So let's get started. There are a few points to keep in mind. 1. Use an older version of After Effects. Yes, you heard it right. In almost all of my tutorials, I always use After Effects CC 2014 version. Because, almost every single person is using the newer version than this. So, if I create an After Effects template, or project, using this version, then there are 99.99% chances, that the template will run in the all newer versions of After Effects. I am opening this project into the After Effects 2017 version. As you can see, it is working perfectly fine. But, if I create the same template using the newer version of After Effect, then there are 100% chances, that the project won't work, in the older version of After Effects. See, I told you. So think of others, and always use the lower version to create the templates. 2. Be organized. Don't just throw away your files in your computer, always keep them in a separate place. For example, I always create a new folder, and call it, as the name of the template, or the project. Inside this folder, I create another two subfolders. First one is data or asset. And the second one is script, or project. In asset folder, you should always keep all the required data files, which you are going to use in the template, such as background, audio, logo and other materials. In this script folder, you can save the project files of the template, so the end user can find it easily. You can also create another README, and instructions file here, and put some instruction to use this template. After finishing up the project, simply, make a zip file of this main folder. And then you are ready to share it worldwide. 3. Always pre-compose the important stuff. Let's take an example. This is my last After Effects project. As you may have noticed, I always pre-compose my logo. This is what I do on purpose. This is the most important step you should always consider to take. Every single property will be applied to this pre-composition, not the original layer. When someone replaced the logo, then the effects will be applied to their logo automatically. Owing this, simply double click to open the logo comp, replace the logo with your own logo, and boom. Now render this intro, add some sound effects, and you are done. Actually, this is why After Effects template stands for. 4. Rename the layers. Yes, this is supposed to be in the second point. Just imaging, you buy an After Effects template, and found the files inside that are called, lol 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 lol. Can you tolerate it? No. So. Always rename every single layer, so the user can understand which file is related to which one. This also helps in making your work neat and clean.
5. Use expressions. Always make your project as simple as possible. So the user doesn't find it hard to use. This is a simple shape animation, but the same can be applied to another type of layers as well. Now imagine, if someone wanted to change the colors of each element. He can do this by selecting each of the layers, and then changing the color of all individual layers. Or simply, select one layer, and change the color of each element from this layer only. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the second option, because it can save a lot of time. So let's see how I made this, and I made it using the expression. It's easy, let's remove all the effects, and expressions from this, so that we can start with the fresh project. As you can see, I don't have any effects applied to it, but just the animation. So, right click here, and create a new null. Let's call it control. Now go to the effects, then expression control. And here we have these options. Choose the color control. And then make sure to rename it as the background color. Make another duplicate of it, and call it box color. I am adding four color expressions for each element. Make sure to rename all the expressions so the user can find them easily. Now we are going to link all these color expressions to these elements, but before, I am going to apply a fill effect. Select your background layer, then go to the effects and the presets, and here search for the fill effect. Now, I am going to apply it to all layers one by one. And of course, your project is going to look red, because the default color of fill effect is the red. Now the important part, select your control layer, and then click on this lock icon. It will lock this effect screen of the control. Means if you select any other layer, then it won't toggle the effect setting of that layer. Before using the expressions, let's change the color of all layers, so that we can see the difference. Now select the background layer, and click here to expand it. Now expand the effect, and the fill effect. Here you will find this color option. We will use this color to connect with the background color box. But before, make sure you can see this color section in the expression. This should be visible for all layers. In front of this color, you can see this stopwatch icon. Press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard. And then click on it. Here you can see these four little icons. Grab this pick whip, and drop it to the background layer. It is now connected with this background color expression. Click anywhere on the screen to see the changes. Let's do the same with this circle layer as well. Repeat the same step, but this time, drop it onto the circle color because this is for the circle color expression. Actually, we are adding an expression on this fill effect. From that, we can control the color of the layer, using their own color expressions in control layer. Do the same with the rest of the layers, and link them to their individual expressions. Perfect. Click here to unlock the view of this layer. And now you can change the color of these elements from this single control layer. This is very useful when you have a lot of color changing option available into the project. And now the last point. 6. Save your project. For saving the project, first make sure everything is organized into the project. Then go to the file, save as, and make sure to choose the save a copy as option. Please note this option placement may be different for your After Effects version. Select the destination as the script folder, and give it a name. After saving the project, select your main folder of the project, and then make a zip of it. You can use any software to make a zip from it. Now you are ready to share this template to anyone. Our tutorial is complete, I'll see you next week.
Thanks for watching this tutorial. Have a good day.